Hello, YouTubers! Okay, so I'm sorry it's been a while. Um, I had a little bit of problem filming. I'm hoping that this setup looks a little better, a little clearer. Um, I am hoping to get either a really good camera or a webcam for Christmas. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, today's I'm going to talk to you about my project, Pan, and I'm going to show you some empties. So first off, I decided to do Project Pan. Um, in case you don't know, it's where you choose a selection of products and then you have to use them up before you can purchase anything new. Um, I have everything I'm... what I'm doing is on currently on my blog, um, cinnamon-wine at... Uh, it's like cinnamon wine blogspot. It's linked down below. Um, check it out. Definitely check it out. It's... My, the way I'm doing it is a little different. A lot of people do like Project 10 Pan, where they pick 10 things that they have to hit Pan or use up completely. Um, I'm choosing seven and only in a couple of in a couple of categories. So I have like lip products, um, foundation, I have a general skin care, I have body care, and hair care. And that's what I'm working on currently. Um, but I am setting myself on a no buy for right now. Um, just to kind of save a little bit of money and also to use the products I have because I'm moving in a month which is totally crazy and last minute and it's gonna be it's gonna be really great to be in a new place before Christmas it's a much bigger place and I'm really looking forward to that um, so now I'm gonna just dive right in into my empties all piled up here in this Sephora bag so I'm just gonna go through this kind of a little bit quickly kind of give you an idea of if I liked it if I would repurchase it um, if you want any further information um, or have any questions or anything, definitely let me know. If you would like to see a full review, I could totally do that. Or I could even post something on my blog. Whatever works. Please leave me a comment or something. Um, first thing I'm going to pick out of my bag here. Um, this is a Trevor Sorby Professional Beautiful Volume Volume Booster. So this is a spray. This is like a root lifter. I picked this up when I was in London. I haven't found it here in Canada. They probably don't sell it here is what I'm thinking. Um, I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, it really did do a lot of great things for my hair. This is a definite repurchase if I could find it. Next I have some of these Kirkland Daily cl uh, Cleansing Facial Wipes. I, I really, really, really love them these. Uh, they had chamomile, triple T complex, and vitamin E. Loved it. It was so perfect for my skin. I went um, to Costco and where I got these and picked up some more. But they don't have this. They changed the formula. It's a different formula, different packaging. And maybe some of they do with their face wipes. They keep trying them. Um, um, but I'm definitely going to keep repurchasing these at Costco because it's a huge, huge value. It's like $12 for like a 150 wipes or something. It's amazing. I love it. Definite repurchase. Uh, this is the Garnier Fructis Hydra Recharge. And I love this stuff. Um, this ha is for dry hair. It has super fruits of goji berry, passion fruit, and kiwi. It has a one minute moisture treatment, but I used it kind of like my regular conditioner because my hair is really, really dry and damaged. Um, I loved it. So obsessed. I actually was going to go repurchase this um, and then I ended up getting the three minute treatment instead which has some different ingredients and stuff and I'm sure I'll include that in a future empty empties video but in the future um, kind of when I'm done with my no buy or when my project pan um, or I just happen to need some new like conditioner or hair treatment I would definitely recommend this and it's super cheap. Uh, next I have a couple of deodorants this is a secret, stay fresh, and this is a Lady Speed Stick Power. Um, this one is in Satin Pear, and this one is in Orange Blossom. Deodorant's kind of standard. Um, I loved, loved, obsessed with the scent of this one, um, but it left a stain. Like, it would stain my clothing, and that's not good. This, this one didn't. The pear scent is okay, but I would definitely, I definitely like some more, um, vibrant citrusy scents. Next I have Rehab Shampoo from Lush. Um, I really liked this um, for a while, um, but then I found it just really didn't do anything 
special to my hair. It smells really, really great though. It's this citrusy mint combo. So good. I'm not repurchasing at the time. Next, I have a little sampler. Um, this is, I don't know if I can get this to show with the light. This is a fresh rose primer. This was like my holy grail primer. Um, they never sold the full size at Sephora and trying to purchase stuff online is just a expensive hassle trying to get it to Canada. It doesn't look like Fresh sells this anymore, probably because it was, wasn't very bad or wasn't very popular. Or, but it, this was the perfect primer for my face. It covered, like, it, ma it masked my pores. Foundation went on so smoothly and perfectly. It was so, so wonderful. I missed this primer a lot. Next, I have a little of the sample size of the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. I love this packaging because um, it's got the little wand where you can easily put it on your eyelid. Um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer is one of my Holy Grail products. I will repurchase till the end of time. Uh, next, I'll just show this. Now, usually, I wouldn't show little foils because kind of what's the point. But this is the Living Proof um, Prime Style Extender. I actually ended up buying the full size because of this. It's that good. Um, it really helped my hair dry a lot faster. Um, it just made everything look a little bit more smoother. Definitely love it. Uh, next, I have a mask of Magna Minty from Lush. Um, this is a really great face mask, um, especially if you ever, if you have, when you have those kind of uh, monthly breakouts or something like that. It, or in the summertime because it's very tingly, minty, it smells really fresh. Um, I have, I've actually repurchased this already in the large tub size. Next I have an, uh, another Lush product. This is the Cupcake Face Mask. Um, I have been quite obsessed with this, but I find its power is lacking. It used to be really, really good on my skin and it would kind of give, give my skin some life. And it would, um, if it had, if I had any acne or anything, it would help to dry it up. It was great, um, but then it just kind of stopped working for me. So I think I'm gonna st skip on the cupcakes for an, a little while and <laughs> maybe try something else. Next, I have oh, more lush stuff. I'm a little bit of a lushy. Um, I have the Happy Hippie shower gel. You can see it's a little swishing around a little bit. I actually went to clean it. I actually uh, cleaned it out a little bit, but there's still a little bit of water. Um, this is a grapefruit shower gel. So it smells so so good. I just I love the smell of grapefruit. Um, I'm not repurchasing this at the moment because it's Lush shower gel is so expensive, and I bought two giant bottles of rose jam. Um, so I am gonna skip on the Happy Hippie for now. Um, if I want another, if I want something from grapefruity, I'll probably try some at the body shop or, or a drugstore, something that's a little cheaper. Um, next I have the, oh, banana shampoo from The Body Shop. Hmm, funny. Uh, I'm obsessed with this shampoo. It smells so good. It's kind of just a good, um, kind of cleansing shampoo. Makes my hair feel really, really clean. I've already repurchased this, and I actually purchased the conditioner that goes along with it, which I'm not a crazy fan of, but the shampoo, I will keep repurchasing. I just, it's so good. Um, next, I have another hair product. This is Mark Anthony Macadamia, a repairing macadamia oil sulfate free conditioner. Um, I bought this on the recommendation of a friend. Um, her hair type is a very different than mine, um, so I don't think I had the same effect. It had the same effect as it did with her, um, so I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, I did like though that after I used this, it helped my hair dry so much quicker. Um, so it helped like. I don't know how that worked, but it was it was great. Um, I would definitely try more products from this line, though. They're normally, I think, around $12 or $13 in the drugstore, a regular price. Um, I got this when this was on sale for like $5, $6. So if, it go, if I see the line go on sale again for $5, $6, I would totally buy this or buy something from the line. Next, I have um, Rose Argan Body Conditioner from Lush. So sad that this is gone. Um, this came with a little gift set that had a bunch of almost like sample size products or a couple like bath bombs and things. 
Um, I got it because I wanted to try this and a couple of other things. This smells like the Rose Jam Boulevard and the Rose Jam Shower Gel. And as you might know if you've watched a couple of my videos, I'm obsessed with the scent of roses. And this, oh, such a good smell. Such a good earthy, argan oil, rosy scent. It's so perfect. Um, the full size is really expensive, so I won't be repurchasing that at the moment, but definitely something in the future. And, you know, when I'm not doing a no-buy. Next, I have a bunch of mascara. Funny how that happens. Um, I have a little kind of sample size of the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, this was kind of standard mascara. It didn't do really do anything special for my lashes. Um, not a repurchase. I'm not a fan of Clinique products. Now the next is a kind of deluxe sample size of the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I really, really love this mascara. Um, I love the brush. Like, the brush is kind of perfect. Yeah, love it. Um, I don't tend to buy mascaras because I get a lot of them in sample sets from Sephora or kind of like gifts with purchase things. It tends to be a set, it comes with like perfume and mascara and you know, some foil things. So I really don't need to buy mascara, but if I was buying one, I would definitely consider buying the, um, the Smashbox full exposure. Now I do have a couple of full size mascaras. Um, these are drugstore ones and they're kind of old so I just decided to toss them but I thought I would give my thoughts on them too. Um, this one is the Maybelline Illegal Length um, Fiber Extension Mascara. I loved, love this. This is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Um, when I kind of, if I happen to run out of my sample size ones and I need to buy one, these, this is probably the one that I will get. It's perfect for my lashes. It makes them look full and luscious. So good. Um, the next one is a CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights. I got this. This was this came free with um, an eyeshadow palette I got from CoverGirl. Um, it's kind of like this is the shade. I think it's like black. Yeah, black sapphire. It really didn't do anything. It kind of made my eyelashes look gray, which is not what I was hoping to have in a mascara. And this is a L'Oreal one. Um, if I got it from the drugstore and when it was on sale and I used it once. It gave my eyelashes that really clumpy, spidery thing. Really gross. Not a fan. Uh, now I only have a couple of things left. I will show... Oh, this is um, Sephora Doe Eye Eyeliner. This was a fail. This lasted maybe twice and then it kind of and then it dried up. Useless. Uh, next is the Mighty, I think this is the, yeah, this is the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum from Julep. Um, love. Love this. This was so, such, such a great product. I used every little last drop of this, and I would use it again and again and again. Um, I don't, I've never bought anything separately from Julep besides getting like their Maven boxes and sometimes they do add-ons. If this is available as an add-on at some point when I'm when I'm getting one of the monthly boxes, I would definitely um, add this onto it because I just thought it made it helped make my nails and everything look so much better. All right, well that's everything for my empties. Um, I hope that you will uh, subscribe, comment, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on. Um, my videos. Please check out my blog um, where I'm going to be doing some updates on Project Pan. Um, if you would want to see some actual, want to see some videos on Project Pan, I'd love to do that too. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!